Hi YouTube. Over on In Range Television, there's a uh, discussion channel about the Schofield Revolver. And one of the issues that came up in that uh, discussion is if you're armed with a Schofield Revolver as an American soldier back then, and you discovered that the Army had accidentally given you 45 Colt ammunition, would you be out of luck if you were under attack, or would there be anything you could do? My supposition is that if you still have your trapdoor 4570, you can probably fire the 45 Colt ammunition inside the 4570 trapdoor rifle. Some people have a lot of book learning and not too much real world experience, or else they know about one topic and that's basically the only topic they know. What I've read as far as the opinion of can a 45 Colt be used in a 4570 is the bullet of a 45 Colt is 452 diameter and therefore the bore of a 4570 at 458 diameter would be too big and the bullet would just skitter down the surface and not have any real accuracy. Well, the question is, in the 1870s, 1880s, was that true? No. Back then, the 45 Colt used a bullet of 455 diameter, and it was a hollow-based bullet, aka mini-ball type, because Colt wasn't too meticulous about boring the bores. This is a U.S. Army issue bullet I pulled from a 1903 cartridge, and I want to say collector-wise it hurt me to do that. But you will notice the base of it, it is hollow-based. And what that means is when the slug goes off, the bullet will obturate or expand to fit the bore. And that being said, let's get on with the demonstration. As discussed, the 45 Colt bullet is hollow based and the explosion of the charge should cause it to swell up to 458 diameter, which would be enough to fill the barrel of the 4570. That's theoretical. What I'm going to do is put my shooting earmuffs on and we'll experiment with that. Stand by. Okay, I just happen to have here an authentic U.S. Military Springfield Armory made uh, 4570 trapdoor rifle. This will be the first time I've fired this particular weapon. So, if it blows up, this will go viral. But I don't think it will. This, of course, is a 4570 slug. So, Trooper loads his 4570, fires his last round. Leslie goes to reload. What does he do then? And he takes one of his 45 Colt cartridges, slides it in. 45 Colt uses 35 to 40 grains of black powder. This weapon is designed for 70 grains of black powder. So we know it'll hold. Now the question is, can you hit anything? First observation. It is difficult to extract. But fortunately, with the rifle and the later carbine versions, it did carry ejector rods. And she does come out. I'd like to that. Okay. He takes his 45 Colt. 
black powder load, slides it in, cocks the gun, aims at the hostile, and shoots. Slides it into the 4570. Draws aim. And kills the attacker. He can do that as long as he's got plenty of 45 Colt ammo. 45 Colt will shoot out of a 4570.